Hi everyone, Wesley Falls from Mappet back again today and I'll be announcing the distributor self-promotion category which highlights superior products or programs designed to promote sales or refine the brand of the distributor and we'll also be announcing the best decoration service award. But I'm on Zoom at the moment, I've got the finalists for the best distributor self-promotion award uh, waiting for me so let's hear what they have to say and announce this year's winner. Alrighty, so Brian from Yay Promo, so you were a finalist with your campaign called Happy Friday. Uh, one, of, one, of the, one of the judges' comment was that this promotion is so much fun. It's colourful, it's interactive, it's a Friday party for the team in a box. I love it. So Brian, can you just give us a quick little overview of, of the campaign? Uh, yeah, well actually, I've got the box sort of here at the moment anyway. <laughs> um, the, the actual campaign was uh, intended, intended for Yay Promo's clients to basically receive a surprise Happy Friday gift pack where I would go visit them in person and present the Happy Friday gift pack um, to give them a surprise and element of surprise and uh, wow factor, if you like, showcasing what Yay Promo's can provide in a self-promo fashion with promotional products. And um, yeah, the element of surprise with the clients was fantastic and uh, they loved receiving it and the feedback was amazing uh, with them actually able to participate with the contents and share it with their teams on the day. Okay, great. All right, so Justin from the branding office, you're our second finalist. And your campaign was called Kind July. Uh, just a, a feedback from one of the judges, they said, lots of thought and investment went into this campaign. Not only did it engage potential clients, it generated social media coverage and started a kindness movement. So can you also give us a bit of background behind Kind July? Yeah, so we uh, reached out to Kind July and made a pledge on their website to do 100 acts of random kindness. Uh, and the way we did that is we sent uh, a database of uh, like straight out prospects, some dormant clients and some of our better clients. We sent them a coffee cup saying that they had done an act of kindness. And then a part of that was a really nice little card that had some tips on how to pay it forward. And then when you opened the card up, it had a brand new $5 note in there. So there was no sales pitch or anything like that. It was it just landed on some people's desk. They would never have even known who we were. Um, but it was a great piece that sat on someone's desk and, and obviously a really good conversational piece because it was something to talk about. So we had a tremendous feedback to it. Um, it ended up being a great sales um, ploy as well because we, we woke up a couple of dormant clients, which was nice, and we made some great contacts. So... Yeah, from us, it's one of the most successful things we've done, but it was um, a real fun thing to do. And, and it was, um, it, you know, it, it did leave a, a good feeling as well. It was something a little bit different. Okay, great. All right, and finally, we're joined by Justin Reynolds and his team at Red Tomato around the around the office uh, desk or board table there. Uh, so Justin, your, your campaign was Tomato Air, Red Tomato's new airline campaign. Uh, one of the feedbacks from the judges was, Impressive results from an integrated campaign using promotional products to pull it all together. This campaign elevates promotional products to a new, to a new level. Well done, Red Tomato. Are you also able to give us a quick uh, overview of that campaign? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Wes. Um, I think, you know, when we were in the ideation phase of creating the campaign, uh, we really wanted to create something that was going to make an impact with our clients. And working with our team in Colombia, uh, we came up with the idea of launching an airline um, and from that was various different assets that we could integrate into a campaign utilising promotional merchandise that was really going to create a, a wow factor with both our, our existing clients and our prospects. Uh, the feedback that we got from some of our clients was incredibly positive and we even had clients calling to see if we actually uh, launched an airline. So, um, well, I was nearly going to ask you that question too, mate. <laughs> so um, it was great to, to have like the full integrated campaign with various different aspects, um, incorporating that merchandise in, into the campaign and um, certainly the, the results spoke for themselves. Okay, great. Okay, well, again, thank you uh, for your entries and congratulations on to the three of you for being a finalist. Uh, I will now uh, announce the winner. Obviously, there was great feedback from all the judges, and I, I will let you know that the, the final scores were very tight. But uh, congratulations to Brian from Yay Promos. For, uh, oh, wow. Thank you.
Well done, Brian. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, mate. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, Thank you, guys. So to both Justins. Thank you for joining us. And uh, so congratulations, Brian. Thank you so much. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Uh, it's uh, such a great uh, award to win, especially um, you know, being able to promote Yay Promos as a, you know, Australia award-winning business in the promotional products industry is amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Our pleasure. You said it was uh, in your submission. It was one of your favourite projects you've ever worked on. Why was that? I think it's because. You know, I'm promoting my business. Yay Promos, it's my brand, my business, my passion, and my passion is the promotional products industry as well. So for me to be able to go out and see my actual clients in person and present them with self-branded Yay Promos promotional products, it showcases the diverse products that I can provide them, as well as being that, having that one-on-one service that I can provide them as well to understand their promotional needs so sure. yeah it was it was fun project because putting all the elements together as well was fun as far as what could fit into the fry a gift box and have yep. that surprise and delight element as well yeah so do you want to show up the gift box again and just yeah, talk sure. through what was actually included in the gift box okay yeah so we've got sorry, just adjust. Okay. so the gift box was presented in this sort of fashion um, around the Lead was actually a Yay Promos branded satin ribbon, and once the ribbon, sorry, once the ribbon was um, unbowed and the lid lifted off, the Yay sign was actually lit up already. So uh, it already has a surprise, wow factor, fun element in it already. So the Yay, there's a Yay light up sign in here. Um, we've also got um, a Yay Bluetooth speaker in here. Uh, just hiding behind here, we've got a Yay tumbling tower game. So that basically allows for the staff to actually play the game together and join together and celebrate on a Friday as well. Yep. And just underneath the actual mm -hmm. Yay sign, we've got Yay Popcorn, Yay Fairy Floss, and 10 pairs of fun wacky glasses, which I'll just put on a pair now as well for you. Um, so these, these fun glasses were all sorts of different shapes and, and colours, but this is my uh, Yay of glasses here which you can see so it's again more branding for the yay brand yep. um and the last part in the brand in the actual pack was just my call to action card as well so it's happy friday from yay promos and then inside it just explains to the actual client how they can come together with their team members to actually um play some tunes have some food play the actual tumbling tower game and basically have a bit of fun on a friday was the whole plan behind it yeah okay great well again congratulations enjoy the win uh, your trophy will be in the mail soon mate. and uh and uh yeah please once thank you, you so go, much don't hesitate to take a photo and send it through fantastic thank you so much wes thanks for thanks for um uh, supplying me with this award it's amazing um, um, to have an upper award for yay promos and i really appreciate it Excellent. Thanks, Brian. And uh, congratulations to the um, to the other two as well, the two Justins as well, on their effort as well. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you so much. Hi, my name's Robert Williams, and I'm the president of APA. I'm here to announce the 2020 Best Decoration Award. The 2020 Best Decoration Award recognises the best decorating service in our industry to the decorator who demonstrates all areas of decoration services, including effectively maintaining client relationships. For the second year in a row, the winner of this award goes to Trends. And I'm about to join Chief Commercial Officer Pat Robertson and Production Manager Tim Hannigan. Okay, so to Pat and Tim and the whole team at Trends, congratulations on this award. In your submission, you make the statement that Trends set the standard in decoration quality in Australasia. And one of your testimonials said that Trends have shaken up the industry over the uh, last couple of years and absolutely the best company to deal with in this industry. So number one, we had a point of decoration quality and what processes and procedures are in place uh, to ensure your decoration methods and outcomes are of superior quality. So I'll hand that over to you guys. 
Yeah, um, there's been a multitude of things that we've done um, that we're focused on in the development of our branding. Um, and that obviously is a never ending process, so it doesn't stop just because we achieve something. Um, but I believe the uh, investment is in our people um, and the training that we've put into our people has played a real vital part in our decoration quality. Um, it's been important to standardise and document our processes as much as possible to remove that guesswork that we have um, in everyday uh, life. Um, but we allow people to be trained more efficiently and effectively. Um, also believe in raising the standard of the quality by developing a team culture as well, um, that they take real ownership and they're proud to send things out to our customers. Um, we have built up a specialised team of engineers and technicians dedicated to innovation and improvement um, and through those branding processes, which has allowed us to roll out several new branding um, innovations, but also there's a few few other things that we're working on at the moment in the background. Um, but quality control, of course, is important. Um, and we've had our team of four people um, responsible for inspecting product, adhesion testing, investigating issues so that we can find solutions to those. Um, adhesion testing is done on every order prior to dispatch. Uh, and we obviously take photos of uh, every job that we uh, uh, finish off uh, for the clients as well. Um, another factor which has made a big difference is ensuring that we invest in the right equipment as well. Um, that's Real plays a big part in, in why we uh, put so much time into those processes um, by using um, you know, printing inks and materials that produce most reliable results. Uh, but ultimately it comes down to, um, I think, our team and just how passionate our people are for what they do. Um, and they, they, they desire that to um, see orders go out that they look really good for our clients. Definitely. Now, having a great team behind you definitely helps um, achieve achieve those goals, and you've done very well in that. My second question for you guys is around your creativity and uh, innovation. So, can you demonstrate what is a unique or innovative uh, approach about the service or the support that Trends provides that clearly differentiates you from your competitors? Uh, well, I think what makes our branding service unique in the market is that we offer such a um, one-stop shop of around 15 different uh, branding solutions that are all done in-house. I mean, and then combining that with our product range, distributors can work with us to develop a complete collection of merchandise for the client using just one supplier. Um, our graphics team can then create virtual sales presentations showcasing that entire collection you know, for your client. Um, I think every distributor knows the frustration when you have, you know, your client really keen on a uh, certain product and, uh, you know, then when you get the artwork through, you realise your supplier doesn't have the capability to print it. And uh, so that's, that's always been our mission to eliminate uh, that problem uh, and to, uh, by continually expanding uh, our branding capability. Um, and ultimately this allows distributors to promote our products with more confidence um, more confidence that uh, they're not going to be caught short when it comes to branding capability. Um, we also have several next level branding solutions that allow you to produce um, some stunning results for your client. Um, you know, and just to show you a few, we've got a few samples here. You know, uh, this is um, digital printing on uh, on jute. Um, you know, we've got uh, sublimation printing on a on a cone coffee cup. That's great. Um, we've got uh, uh, shiny laser engraving on a powder coated bottle. Um, 360 degree rotary digital printing. And, uh, and of course, uh, our latest uh, branding innovation, uh, digital printing on, uh, on silicon. So uh, I think it's branding solutions like these that really allow distributors to be creative with the product and develop product concepts that uh, the clients will really love. Definitely, and uh, very well deserved. And uh, thank you for, for taking a, a massive part in our industry in um, in changing the way and being innovative to uh, decoration methods and things like that as well. So well done on winning the 2020 Best Decoration Service Award. So congratulations to uh, Trends again, and thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Robert.